My friends, do we have a treat in store for you tonight. From 1964, it is Jacques Demy's masterpiece, Le Parapluie de Cherbourg, or The Umbrellas of Cherbourg. And it's not just one of my favourite French films of all time, it is absolutely one of my favourite films of all time, regardless of language or nationality or kind of movie as well. Because it's a musical, but it isn't a musical. It's a film which lays its cards very much on the table from the opening sequence. It's a beautiful aerial shot where you see lots of people with their umbrellas unfurled, walking past as the rain drops down upon them on a typically unfortunate day in Cherbourg. A movie which is tragic and sad, but somehow manages to transcend just those qualities with its music, with its lightness of touch, and with its beautiful, memorable mise en scène. J'ai eu un mal fou. À quoi faire? À persuader maman. Je voyais leur passé et la couturière qui n'arrivait pas. Regarde, attention, elle est encore pleine des pins. The story is essentially that of Genevieve, a beautiful 17 year old girl played by the magnificent. Catherine Deneuve, who is the daughter of a widower who runs the umbrella shop in Cherbourg, a business you would expect to be thriving since it seems to rain every second of every minute of every day, but no, they are in financial trouble. And as such, when the young paramour Genevieve leaves to serve his term as national service in the Algerian war that French were engaged with at the time, the mother steers her towards another romance, or lesser romance, perhaps more of a business arrangement with a man who is more financially sorted. You can't really talk about umbrellas of Cherbourg without talking about the magnificent contribution made by the composer Michel Legrand. He'd worked with Demi before, most notably on Bay des Anges, the Jean Moreau movie which has a fabulous piano score over the opening sequence, and they had worked together on Lola, a film which is kind of referred to in Umbrellas of Shoba, but you don't need to have seen that to enjoy this, don't worry. Qu'est-ce que tu as, Geneviève? Rien, je suis fatigué. Every line of dialogue is sung not spoken. The whole of the film is scored from beginning to end. The music is as much a character in the movie as any of the actors or actresses. And it really is an unforgettable experience, but one which I feel you have to be warned about in advance. Es-tu bien sûr de tes sentiments? Mais enfin, maman, tu ne vois pas combien je suis malheureux. It's a terribly, terribly sad film. I'm not going to try and sugar lump it for you or honey coat it anyway. It's one of the saddest films you'll ever see in your entire life, but that's the beauty of it. It gives you a kind of aching, powerful sadness that will stay with you for years to come. It's a beautiful movie. It's a sad movie. It will make you cry if you have anything resembling a soul inside you. It will stay with you forever. Huge claims, I know, but ones which I think are entirely justifiable. 